Very warm welcome indeed. This is Peter Sandovic with you previewing all the action for Saturday, November the 26th. Hope you're keeping well. Lovely to have you with me. I've got six bets to tell you about. That's right. We're going for six of the best. I've got them from uh, Gowron Park, Wolverhampton and Bangor on D. I've got six bets for you on this line in what's been a relatively quiet week's action. Uh, let's turn the profit meter up full blast for a big Saturday and a big push for the weekend ahead of you right now. Got bets all over the place, as I say. Early prices are not available, so I'm just going to go with what I think, and uh, I think they're going to have a very, very good day indeed. So we are going to go to Bangor, Wolverhampton, or Galway, or Gowran Park, I should say, first. I'm going to go there. I'm going to go Gowran Park for the 320 to kickstart the afternoon for you on a Saturday afternoon. Uh, let's go to the 320 there, number one. It's called Ardera Aru. I'll spell that. A-R-D-E-R-A. -E That's A-R-D-E-R-A. -E and then R-U. Ardera Aru. Trained by Owen Doyle. Uh, this one is number one on your card. It's in the 320 at Gowran Park. The message I've got for this horse is very, very strong indeed. It's racing off a mark of 95 in this handicap hurdle, and it's coming down in grade from a 102 rated race to a 95. There are 23 runners, that's right, 23 runners go to post. The prices are not yet known for this actual event, but their ground is, and it's going to be very heavy indeed at Gowran Park, and that's going to suit Odero and I think this horse, this mare, has got an outstanding chance. She should be a decent price, maybe 8, 10 to 1, maybe a little bit bigger. And bookmakers are going to be paying out first five on this event, no doubt about that. 23 runners going to post. And she's my idea of the winner, without a shadow of a doubt. She stands out like a crystal ball to me. Number one, Ardera Aru. I'll just spell it again. A-R-D-E-R-A. -E Ardera, and then R-U, Ru. So that's the one to be on there. It's got a young apprentice on it as well, claiming £7, and that can only enhance the chances because uh, this horse is very attractive weighted as it is. And uh, this boy who's on board can ride as well. He's rode 16 winners, so he won't be a problem on board. Uh, claiming seven, already off mark of 95. He's knocking it down even further. And I say coming down in grade. I think Odiru must go extremely close. Uh, already won in point to points as well. Number one, Odiru, 320 Gorun is your first bet of the day on Saturday. Remember, these are Saturday's bets, the 26th of the 26th of November. Well, the 250 race is a half an hour prior to that one, and I've got a horse equally as strong as our dear Aru in this race. There's only 12 runners uh, go to post on this one. Uh, 12 runners go to post in this one, uh, but I've got idea of the winner here is number eight. Number eight on your card. It's called McGrath from Clune. McGrath from Clune. Only had three runs. It's got three zeros. Trained by Robert Tyner and ridden by Philip Enright. Now, Tyne is a past master at doing these sort of things and getting these horses well handicapped. And I think this horse is well handicapped off a mark of 99. It's only a six-year-old, uh, lots of potential in it, handicapped in the, for the first time. And uh, I, I think this horse is going to run a big race. It's a lovely gelding, big strapping gelding. It's gone off at 50 to 1, 33 to 1 twice in its three runs to date. So obviously been uh, down the pan, down the pan, down the pan. 7th of 18, 13th of 17 and fifth of eight. I suggest it's going to go very close indeed. Again, not sure what the price is going to be. I'd hope for six or seven to one. So the 250 at Garen, I'm on it. Number eight, McGrath from Clune. McGrath from Clune. Trained by Robert Tyner, written by Philip Enright. Those two combined to bring a horse to the track. So three duck eggs, three proverbial runs to get it handicapped. And today's the day. 250 Goran, McGrath from Clune. Number eight, each way for your cash there. OK, so let's just slow things down a tad and nip over to Bangor on D before I finish you off with the uh, finish you off. Well, wow, that's not a nice way to think, is it? Before I finish off for tomorrow's card for you with Wolverhampton three horses. So I'll give you those three at Wolver in a moment. They're running later on 5.30, 6.50 and 8.20. But go to Bangor on D. Didn't we have a lovely day the day we went to Bangor? Well, hopefully we will in the 12.23. They're opening on the card. I'm all over number one here. It's a nine horse race. It's called Petty Cash. Petty Cash. Again, I've got no idea of the price. I think it'll be nine to two, five to one. I'm going to go each way. There's nine horses in the race. I can't imagine this horse not being in the three. 
uh, trained by Henry Daly and ridden by Richard Patrick and pretty much well informed here Daly and this horse is going over the bigger obstacles for the first time but I'm assured at home the horse has been schooling well and looks every inch a chaser as well. So I like the gelding number one, Petty Cash. It's in a nine horse event, a handicap chase but it doesn't look the strongest affair, 0 to 115. Uh, Henry Daly, nobody's full, has got this horse in off a mark of 116 and I think that's a pretty good mark. Axe on the heavy ground, it's heavy at Bangor, as it is in other tracks, of course. The 12.23 there, number one, it's called Petty Cash, and it's my third bet of the day. It's the first bet in England, the other two were in Ireland, Ireland at Goran, but that one at Bangor is number one. It's called Petty Cash, and I think it could well bring home the cash for us in that race there, the opener at Bangor on D. Well, that's three, which leaves three, and all them three, as I say, are at Wolverhampton. And let's go to the 520 for the first of these three big bets. And there's a horse I'm very sweet on indeed, trained by Archie Watson and ridden by young Taylor Fisher, who claims a valuable five pounds. Well, Fisher's rode this horse before and he come eighth of nine at Wolverhampton. But I think you can forget about the, that run. There's all sorts of excuses for it. And I think this filly's a winner waiting to happen. I really do. She's got five zeros next to her name. But I think of a mark of 65, in this 0 to 65, she has got an outstanding chance. Raced in a 0 to 80 last time out, so severely dropped in grade. It's number one, it's called Amor de Mi Bida. Amor de Mi Bida. And Archie Watson trains it. It's a four year old, and I think it's got a massive chance. She's a lovely filly. Amor de Mi Bida in the 520 at Wolverhampton. And uh, as I say, ran well at Lingfield last time in a grade above this, well, three grades above it almost. So it's six of ten behind Pop Dancer, who's in a 0 to 80. It drops down now to a 0 to 65, and uh, I think it's going to run a huge race. I really do. Good price this one as well, should be with all them duck eggs. Number one, and more Davida, 520 Wolverhampton each way there. I'm going each way, all these horses. I'm hoping they're all going to be decent prices, obviously. And uh, let's move on to the 650 at Wolverhampton. Now I tipped this horse last time up and it didn't win but I'm going to stick with it because I know it is a winner certainly around the corner and I, I, I will be very surprised if this horse is not in the first three tomorrow and I'm, I'm having a very very big bet on it each way myself. It's number eight and it's in the 650 at Wolverhampton. Uh, the horse is called Just Call Me Pete incidentally and coincidentally number Eight, just call me Pete, trained by James Evans and ridden by young Molly Phillips, who still claims a valuable three pounds. Well, Dougie Costello usually rides this horse, this gelding, and he's jocked off tomorrow for James Evans on board. Uh, James Evans trains it rather for Molly Phillips on board, and I think off a mark of 71, just call me Pete is a winner, absolutely in the bag, very, very soon indeed. And I think it'll be on Saturday night. Thought it ran really well last time up. I say I did back it at 7-1. to one. It finished 5th of 10. It had all sorts of problems in running. Dougie Costello, I've got to be honest with you, got into a right mess. Had no chance at all. It was blocked and blocked and blocked and it, was, it, it wasn't in a good position as it turned out at all. And number 8, just call me Pete with Molly Phillips on doing the series, claiming a valuable 3 as well. Knocks the weight down even further. Uh, looks something to bet on. Uh, again, I think she'll be 7 or 8-1. to one. Uh, I think Just Call Me Pete is one of the bets of the day anywhere in the country, all-weather turf or Ireland, any way you like. Uh, I'll be very surprised if this horse doesn't figure prominently at the business end of things. That's number 8, Just Call Me Pete, in the uh, 650 at Wolverhampton, which leaves one to go. You've already had Ardera Rue, you've had McGrath for Clune, from Clune, and you've had Just Call Me Pete. You've had Amor de Mi Vida, and you've had Petty Cash, which leaves one to go, and it's in the final race of the day anywhere in the country. It's trained by a very good friend of mine from the olden days called Richard Fahey, and I think this horse will win. It's called Crown Thorpe. It's number seven, and it goes in the 820, ridden by Usin Orr, and I really, really like this one very much indeed. Again, a horse been dropping down the weights, down to a mark of 71, uh, having valid excuses several times recently, not least last time, but when 6 of 10 at Newcastle got boxed in and had no chance whatsoever the way the race was run. I think everything's set fair, drawn one. It looks an absolute knocker to be on each way, and I'll be very, very surprised if it's not there or thereabouts, and indeed wins. Number seven, Crown Thorpe. Again, should be a good price, 5, 6 to 1 each way in the 8.20 at Wolverhampton. There we go, you've got six bets in 10 minutes. 
I'm uh, moving it fast and furious, and I think we're going to have a big, big Saturday. Thumbs up, and I'll speak to you on, uh, I tell you what, I'm going to speak to you on Saturday night at 6 o'clock. Bye for now.